Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. This update is about the two statues on the north side of where the transept crosses the nave, which are now in St. Stephen's Hall in the Palace of Westminster. To the northwest of the Crystal Fountain is Lord Falkland, to the northeast is John Hampton. In 1851 the Palace of Westminster was still being rebuilt following the devastating fire of 1834 which destroyed the majority of the palace. St. Stephen's Hall is built on the site of the Royal Chapel of St. Stephen's, which was where the House of Commons sat until the fire. Statues of famous parliamentarians line either side of the hall. Two of these, Lord Falkland and John Hampton were displayed at the Great Exhibition. According to the Illustrated London News of 27 December 1851, a couple of months after the Great Exhibition closed, these two statues, along with that of the Earl of Clarendon, would be installed in St. Stephen's Hall in a few days. Plaster models of these two, along with an unfinished marble of Clarendon, were previously displayed at an exhibition in Westminster Hall in 1847. It is unclear whether the statues of Falkland and Hampton at the Great Exhibition were the plaster models from the 1847 exhibition, or the finished versions which were installed in St. Stephen's Hall a few weeks after the exhibition closed. The models in the simulation are of those now in St. Stephen's Hall. Lord Falkland by John Bell is representing the sadness and dejection of a man who is being called to fight his fellow countrymen in the Civil War. His statue later came to suffer the indignity of damage to his spurs. This occurred on the 27th of April 1909 when suffragette Marjorie Humes chained herself to the statue. The spikes on the spurs were damaged as she was being removed. John Hampton by John Henry Foley is representing the warrior statesman who resisted Charles I's attempt to raise tax via ship money. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.